What is going on guys? Ultimate Dead Peeler. Sorry for the uh, camera being a little shaky right now. Uh, it's on my shitty phone stand right now. Um, so before anybody says anything, I'm wearing the same shirt that I did in my last video because I filmed both videos back to back. Um, so without out of the way, um, in my last video I said there are three major reasons, well, three, two major reasons uh, why I haven't been uploading um, videos as much as I normally do or normally try to do um, and though the, those two reasons were my current job at Home Depot is just driving me extremely crazy and I just have not really had time to do much of that and when I do have time to do that I've been also dealing with stuff here <laughs> so um, it's just been one massive headache for the last few weeks and it's just building up and building up and building up and I just have not really had time uh, to make videos and like I said when I do I like just kind of being you know relaxed and separated from stuff like this just for a little bit you know like I said not not going anywhere still staying here ultimate Deadpool shit's gonna be coming out hopefully you'll have some funny stuff to look forward to so without emotional bullshit out of the way <laughs> um, one of the things I mentioned in my last video was I finally have the opportunity to start a lifelong dream project of mine that is something I kind of had when I was a kid, um, but later down the line it had to go away and I have literally the perfect opportunity um, to do my own version of what you know was in my childhood so I have the page right here um, well actually it's just three images but it's all the same generic thing so let, uh, and I know that those of you who are car pe not car people click away from this video this is going to be a very boring video for people who are not car people um, or if you guys care or just like my channel in general you may find some of this stuff interesting because it does give me it will tell you guys a little bit about you know what I've done as a child and whatnot and like kind of where my childhood was uh, growing up so if you guys want to learn more about that go ahead and stick around but most of it's going to be focused on car videos stuff so if you guys don't like car videos go ahead and click away from this video and just either watch one of my other videos or go back to watching some other stuff like maybe Minecraft and Five Nights at Freddy's whatever you guys watch so, anyway, and I'm always, that's one of the things I always liked about being a YouTuber is I'm very open to people not officially agreeing with some of the stuff I do. Like, I do car videos all the time. Some people watch them, some people don't, uh, which is fine. You know, everyone has their own taste and flavor and stuff, and me, I like, I like cars. I like talking about cars. I like showing off certain cars, and some people, they don't, that just doesn't work for them. So, this is a car video, so if you don't want to watch it, Go ahead and click away. You won't hurt my feelings. Uh, but if you guys like my, you know, like hearing about, you know, stories about my past or stuff like that, go ahead and stay on. You'll get some weird shit. So, my dream project is a 1980, 1990. Yeah, I can't talk today. 1979 through 81 Pontiac Firebird. Uh, my dad used to have one almost exactly like this when I was a kid. Um, unfortunately, though, life got in the way, um, and he wasn't able to afford to keep it, so he went ahead and got rid of it. Um, and like I said in my last video, that was kind of our thing. You know, it was when when I was a kid. There were several times where I'd be sitting in the back seat, and we would be in the alleyway. And he would just gun it. He would just freaking put the pedal to the metal just to make me smile. And it was just, it was just, it was kind of our thing. Um, and it was, it was really hard for him to give that up. I know that for a fact. Um, he'll never admit that to me. But, you know, it was very hard for him to do that. And in a way, this is kind of my way of him saying goodbye in a way. Because, you know, yeah, he's the one who sold it. But, you know, he didn't really want to do that, I'm sure. So, in a way, this is kind of like his second chance, in a sense, but it's still my car. 
if that makes sense. So it's like he can still use it. It's just mainly mine. So um, his card did not look exactly like this. It did look very similar though. Um, he had a black leather interior um, that was really really nice. Um, a jet black paint job, spoked rims, um, and his bird did not quite look like that. Uh, these are actually photoshopped images of what I want my particular Trans Am to look like. So that's why they look kind of weird. Because um, you can obviously tell those are not real images. This is not real, this is not real, and this one back dot bottom here are not real. The actual vehicles in the pic pictures are real, but the birds that are on the hood are not real. So, even though some of them look like it. So, that is my dream project. I've always wanted to build my own Trans Am just because Trans Am is one of my favorite car brands or car models of all time. Mostly because of that nostalgia that my dad used to have one. Um, and it was, it, it, I've been trying to figure this out for the longest time on how can I make this work because I already have a vehicle. You guys know this. I have a 2004 Chevy Avalanche that is decked out in Ghostbuster stuff, which is fine. That works really well as a daily driver vehicle. Um, but I've always wanted to do something that, like, for emergency purposes. Like, you know, say I, I forgot something at the grocery store or just kind of feel like just going out and blowing off some steam or whatever and I don't want to kill my truck's gas or anything like that because my truck uses a lot of gas. It really does because it's four-wheel drive. And anybody who knows four-wheel drive knows that that will kill your gas quickly, usually. But, you know, it takes two weeks to get down to a half a tank if I fill it up, which is not bad but not great either. So, especially as much as I drive it, but... You know, it, it's, it's also nice because, like I said in one of my later, earlier videos this year, um, or a couple weeks ago, I'm trying to get a dog. Um, I used to have one when I was uh, very young. I grew up with having, I grew up having a dog. Um, it's very hard to talk about this. Um, his name was Bubba. He was like 17 years old when he finally did pass away. Um, and I say that as finally, but... Like, he was in a lot of pain, and we ended up having to put him down. Long story short, it was very painful and very upsetting because I wasn't there when that happened. I had school that day, and I was not allowed to stay home for that. Um, but it, that was six years ago. And, you know, I always felt like there was something missing. There was just something just not there for me. And... You know this what you know this right here was one of them, but the main one was not having literally my best friend with me because you know I grew up for 17 years with a dog at my side. Well, maybe not at my side because he was always outside. Um, Bubba was an outside dog, and you know he <laughs> he was a real sweetheart, but oh boy, was he annoying sometimes too because. He would just bark and howl at every single siren or car that passed by sometimes. Especially signs like he hated tornado drills uh, or tornado sirens. He hated police sirens. He hated ambulance sirens. He hated, you know, loud cars, horns, stuff like that. He just hated that stuff and would just howl at every single police car or ambulance that passed by. Uh, but otherwise, he was a real sweetheart. So when he, unfortunately when he did pass away, I felt like I was missing something for those for the last six years. Um, I did not get a new dog right away because for me it, I, I just felt like I could never do anything like that again. But with my you know stress level ever rising, it feels like and it's been six years. I feel it's time to go ahead and move on and try to do something like that again. Except this time it would be different because I would actually get to enjoy the dog because it would be an inside dog. That was one of the things that I, you know, never really understood about with my previous dog because he was outside all the time. And I never really got to enjoy him. So, like, yeah, it sucked when he had to be put to sleep. But, like, at the same time, you know, you know, as much as many memories as I'll always have, 
with him. You know, I never really got to spend a whole lot of time with him inside, in closed doors and stuff. I still had plenty of fun with him outside, just not as much fun as I would like to have with an inside dog. So, that is another thing that I would be using this for, um, because obviously my truck seats are not made of leather, so it would be a very big pain in the ass to uh, clean fur out of uh, cloth seats, which is what my truck has. Um, this would probably have red leather seats, which is fine, because then that actually works great for a dog, because I can very easily just take a vacuum, suck up all the hair and stuff and fur, and not have a care in the world. Um, and plus, I like going to car shows. Some of you guys might not know this. Last year, around May, uh, May 5th, last year, um, I took my truck to a car show for the first time ever. I've never been to a car show, except for when my dad took his Trans Am to a car show. I was like maybe eight or so when, when he did that, and it was a one-time thing. He only took it to one car show that I ever know of, um, and he, he did fairly well, because it's a Trans Am. You don't really see many of those anymore. And um, But when I took my truck to the car show, um, it didn't do anything major because it's technically a modern day vehicle. Um, but it did win best modern day custom because it is a custom truck because it's a Ghostbusters truck. And in that regard, some people thought it was worthy enough to be considered the best modern day custom that they had up there. Because they did have some you know modern day cars, but they were like all factory Camaros and Mustangs and like all of this factory stuff there there was not really much flavor to it but my truck had flavor and it was a modern day vehicle for the most part it was still an older car but it was just still more modern day so you know that's one of another thing that I would use this for is big car shows because well duh it's an old classic muscle car that you know, not many people really see anymore. And when I'm done with it, whoo, it'll be so good. But, like, it's one of those things that it's like, you know, I've I've loved doing this stuff. Like, there are so many things that I want to do as videos that would require stuff like this. And I, there's just so many people out there on my channel that I know don't really care about this shit. Because um, shortly after I restarted Ultimate Deadpool Studios because my last channel got t taken down, um, I did a trailer for a road rally that never went anywhere because nobody cared for it. Um, because there are a lot of people on my channel who do not like hard videos, um, which is perfectly fine. Um, I still do videos like that for people who may have an interest in it or are starting to pique their interest in it because of my videos. I have had people say that before. Um, but it's just one of those things that nobody really cared for. So it's like, okay, well, I'll go ahead and continue to do it for the people who do like that stuff. But, you know, the other people, they won't watch it. So that is what it is. But, you know, that's... I, I made that trailer four or five something years ago um, and it never went anywhere because I did a previous road rally on my old channel it did mildly decent it didn't do anything like really grand or anything like that but there were people who watched it and whatnot and it was it was a fun you know time and whatnot but it, it, it didn't do anything because no, nobody on the channel really likes car videos which is fine um, but you know like I said, th this this is just something I feel like I should have done a long time ago. Um, because, like I said, I did grow up having one, well, technically having one of these things as a kid. And I've always wanted to do my own version. And uh, I recently found out that uh, my, dad were, I met, my dad and I were actually on our way to go pick parts up for my truck. And uh, we somehow got onto the topic of uh, trans his Trans Am and... Apparently, if life had not gotten in the way and he was able to keep it, that was actually supposed to be my first car, according to him. Now, he could have been just saying that to make me feel better. I don't know. But, you know, from what he said, that was supposed to be my first car. So, 
you know, and he feels really bad about that not happening and that not coming to fruition, which I completely understand. You know, it got ex it was an expensive thing to maintain, and it cost a lot of money to do. I am a hundred percent understanding on that, and that's why I'm okay with that. But the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to take my time on it, get the stuff it actually needs to run done first, and then whatever I feel like going ahead and changing, like if it needs a new interior or whatever, take it slowly. Do it a step at a time. Not try to do everything all at once, and then like, let's well crap. Now I have, you know, say $10,000 invested in the car. Where do I go from now? And now I'm not $10,000 in debt. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, you know, take it slowly. I'm going to take it, do it a step at a time. And that gives me a really good chance to do that, for this type, that type of stuff for YouTube. Because some of you guys do like watching my videos where I, it show, I show you how it starts off as and then kind of goes from, you know, okay, well, I did this, 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 I did this to it until you finally see the final product. Uh, the Sabini Jason that I did a while back that was something that everyone was like oh I can't wait to see how this turns out and it all it didn't last as long as it did because I should have taken a long oh should have taken longer <laughs> to do that but you know there were several people like wow like it started off looking like this and then it looked like this and now it looks like this like there were so many people who were thrilled with stuff like that um, and you know, even my Ash Williams Chainsaw Hand video, or little mini-series that I did, and when I showed you guys how to make an Ash Williams Chainsaw Hand actually work, um, for the most part, there were several people who were like, wow, you took a plastic chainsaw, took it apart, made it to where you can fit a hand inside it, put it back together, and the chain still works, and it still makes noise. That's awesome. And they, again, followed that whole process step by step. So that's kind of another thing that I could use this for, is showing you how does it start off, what am I doing it, what am I doing it today, what am I doing it today, what am I doing it today, what am I doing today, what am I doing today, until it's finally all said and done. So, you know, kind of doing like an update or upgrade video every freaking, you know, however long it takes me to do this. And then once it's all finally said and done, I can have before and after shots of everything. So... You know, it's just, it's one of those things that it's like, I, I, this is more personal than anything else, um, because of obvious reasons, like I said, my dad used to have one, and, you know, it, it did suck when, I, I remember this, I remember the exact day he got rid of it, it was, I want to say it was like January, January, January 11th, 2010. January 11, 2010 was the was the day he sold this thing to CarMax. He didn't get that much out of it, but I knew it had to be done. And I remember that final ride we took, it, we were both like very quiet the whole trip because neither one of us wanted to do it. But he invited me to go along to basically say goodbye to it and you know, it wasn't fun. It wasn't easy to do. And you know, as much as I hate to say it, he did make the right choice because, you know, it was a expensive thing to do. But that's where I would change my thing on it because I know how expensive these things can be. I know the outcome of how it could be if I do it too quickly or too slowly. So that's one of the reasons why I'm going to try to take my time on it. I'm going to do, you know, a little bit at a time, not try to get everything done in one shot and just take it slow. The best things always take time. It's that old phrase, good things take time. And this is going to be something that is a good thing, hopefully, that will take time. And this is also going to be something I'm, I'll be very happy to, like, you know, one day take my children or whatever in, or, you know, have my dog by my side the whole time or whatnot. You know, blow off some steam, do a couple of burnouts, do a couple of donuts when it comes time to winter time. You know, Stuff like that that I wouldn't normally be able to do in my truck because my truck is a work vehicle. It's my everyday driver. It is th something I can load a whole bunch of stuff in the back of it, not have a care in the world because it can take the weight. Kind of can't do that in something like this. 
and you know my truck I uh, one of the things that I did do is I killed the differential on it twice I killed the rear end on it twice because I would try to do burnouts and stuff like that because I you know I like the sound of my truck I liked the sound of the power that it's got but it's not meant to do stuff like that and because of that I ruined the differential twice and we had to put two rear ends in that car in that truck because it's not meant to do that so that's one of the things that you know I would be able to do with this because it's intended for that purpose well to an extent but I wouldn't overdo it to the point where it's going to kill the car um, because I try to learn from my mistakes and this is one of those things I can learn from it took me forever to do my to get my truck like I said it took me two years two years to get a truck technically longer because I wanted a truck long before I actually had a job but you know when I when I first was wanting a truck I was actually in my auto tech class which is a car class um, learning how to fix vehicles and stuff so that way in case my own vehicle breaks down I know how to fix it unless I uh, it's something I, I don't exactly know how to do like I know how to change my oil I know how to rotate my tires fix my brakes stuff like that I know the basics so we had a Jeep come in and I really liked it I liked working on the Jeep it was a really really solid vehicle I'm like Jeeps are actually pretty good and then I saw the price tags on those things I'm like oh that's not a good idea so I immediately stopped looking for a Jeep and I said, I'm like, well, you know, I like Dodges, but like Rams, I don't want a new one. I don't want a new car. I just want something that I can throw stuff in the back of a truck and not have a can in the world. Some of you guys might know, I built all of our Halloween decorations. Um, Pumpkinhead, for those of you who may know, he's the guy out in the garage. Um, I don't take him to a storage facility like I do everything else because he's just way too heavy and way too bulky to move around in a truck bed bouncing all around I don't trust that so he does stay here but everything else I can load I can load virtually everything in well not everything but I can load like 97 percent of our Halloween stuff in the back of my truck not have a care in the world because it's not all that heavy bring it here assemble everything and go from there so you know it's just you know it's one of those things like I said I, I, um, I'm bouncing back and forth and I'm losing my mind because I'm so tired but this is something I want to put together oh it's I'm back I'm on uh, how I wanted to get truck so I was looking at Dodges Dodges were like you know mildly inexpensive but it's like everyone in my family has a Chevy so I started looking at like Chevy Silverados and I only found like 1997s and stuff like that you know, and at the time I had a 1997 Camry. For those of you who may remember that gray car that was in the uh, me versus a laptop video, uh, which was like my third or fourth video ever on this channel. Um, and you know that that was you know fine, but it was just it was so compact. Um, and I know this is going to be two, but one of the nice things about these, if you look at that bottom image, that's a T-top. So for those of you who don't know what a T-top is, Trans Am and Camaros in the late 60s, early 70s to the mid 90s um, had cars that had removable tops. Um, it wasn't necessarily a convertible because it still had the bar in between and it still had the whole back windshield. But basically you could take these two panels that went on the side of the car, one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side, you lock them in place and you have a full roof. But you can also look up and enjoy the stars at night and not have a care in the world. Or you could be wanting, like some of the people who, some people like to watch, you know, rainfall, but they don't want to get wet. So they can look up and watch the rain and not get wet in a T-top. So, most famously, it's also the car, the thing that was used in Burt Reynolds' Smoking the Bandit movies, for those of you who've seen those. So, I want to get a T-top in case... You know, I, I would like to do stuff like that. I like to look up at the stars sometimes. You know, I like science, so I like looking at the stars. But, like, oh, I like this star, I like this star, I know this planet, I know this planet. You know, and stuff. And something I would like to do. And plus, I just like T-tops anyway. But, 
so you know when I finally did uh, want a Chevy I decided to um, look at my page just dropped so um, I decided to look at a Chevy Avalanche because like I said since I build all of my Halloween stuff I can load everything in the back of my truck because an Avalanche has a gate in the middle in between the cab and the truck bed that can fold down and it extends the entire bed to eight feet. Um, Chevy Avalanche is the only vehicle I know that does that. Um, so, sorry for those of you who are like, oh, I wonder if I could do that to my Toyota, or hmm, I wonder if my Ford could do that. No, no, you can't, no. It's only Chevy Avalanche. Only Chevy Avalanches do that. But uh, that's why I need my truck is for stuff like that. I can have big, heavy loads and that, not have a care in the world. But also, I can have fun and kind of blow off some steam without killing my truck. Or killing my daily driver vehicle. Or like, for say, some for some reason, like say, you know, a part goes wrong on my truck and it has to be at the shop for a few days. I have a backup vehicle to, you know, still use and not put anybody else out of a vehicle. Because that was one of the things I hated about um, when I still had my Camry. You know, it was fine. You know, my uh, my dad would have the sh the Avalanche at his shop because he was constantly fixed, trying to get the suspension and stuff fixed because it needed that. But shortly after we bought the truck, we sold the car, <laughs> and I was out of a vehicle until I got my truck back, which was still two months after that. So I would constantly have to borrow like my mom's vehicle, my grandmother's vehicle, my dad's vehicle. Like I would constantly have to borrow somebody else's vehicle. And that's what started this whole, I need to do a second vehicle so that way in case something like this happens again, I have a backup vehicle that I can use until I get my main one back. Um, that's my perfect reasoning behind it. I think it's actually a really good, good idea, but I'm sure there's going to be several people out there like, you're so, you're spending thousands of dollars on another car that's not going to be driven as often as your main one just so that way if your main one dies you have another one well, just go get a rental car no because that costs more money to do that and in the long run that's going to be a lot more expensive than just building a second car to have fun with and that's exactly what this would be it would be a fun stress relief um emotional journey you know long life dream car essentially built so this has been a very long video. I'm sorry if I bored any, or uh, am boring any of you guys on this. But for those of you who wanted to know more about my past or whatever, that's, this is a perfect video to do that type of stuff with. So thank you guys so much for watching. For those of you who did watch this video, if you guys didn't, again, perfectly fine. Um, everyone has their own preferences in videos and content. So I just try to do a little bit of everything, and eventually somebody will like what I do. So. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys all later. Bye.